How much can I love all appearances? How much can I appreciate? all appearances. I almost couldn't take take it on anymore. It was just, it's too much love. <sighs> a lot of emotions came up regarding I didn't allow myself to feel that fully. So it was, it was very much beautiful. Ayahuasca is a special one for me. Ayahuasca has taken me to the highest highs of love and bliss and to the lowest lows of facing death and being completely destroyed and even almost traumatized by the experience because of how intense it pushed me to my boundaries. Today I want to share my transformative ayahuasca experience. It's been the first one since a year and also it's been my first proper psychedelic journey after my spiritual crisis. If you're curious about that experience you can watch the video series right here about my spiritual emergency which catapulted me into a three-month period of being in a non-ordinary state of consciousness caused by an psychedelic experience and that made me very nervous to go into another experience and it's been five six seven eight nine months almost since I've had a proper psychedelic experience. I've had a couple, like the small LSD and the small mushroom journey and the small Changa ceremony here and there, but not a properly deep experience. So I was very like, very nervous to go into this next journey, but it came along my path and I strongly felt the call again to go into psychedelic space again. But especially with ayahuasca, I have so much, so much, so much deep respect for it. Which is interesting, uh, which we'll come to in a bit. But I mustered up the courage and signed up. And I drank with Manesh, actually. And if you're curious about the retreat experience, again, you can watch the video right here where I talked about my retreat experience. This video is going to be just about the first night. In preparations, I did the diet, I did a lot of meditation and center myself and really align with my intention. And I wrote a book, by the way, also about um, psychedelic preparation, about ayahuasca preparation workbook and what you need to consider for the diet. If you're curious about that, you can download that for free. Link is in the video description. Now let's get into the first night uh, of this retreat and this really transformative experience. There was so much, there's so much to share. I need to have my notes here. Um, so yeah, my intention, a lot of what is present for me at the moment is how can I serve? How can I serve? Who am I to serve? Uh, w what's my path? It was a lot about my purpose and my path and also a lot about this channel and, and the offer of coaching that I'm developing at the moment for life purpose coaching for psychonauts and there were a lot of questions about that and even about marketing and and a lot of that stuff was was one of my core intentions I had a lot of questions there and I was like okay I'm gonna write all of these questions down and and take them into my ayahuasca ceremony and also about the course I'm creating and have been creating for the last three years and it's like it's a whole thing <laughs> right <laughs> there's a lot going on in the background of this channel here so another thing that is very present for me is appreciation I really want to deepen my appreciation for life and and it feels very resonant and it feels like I found my path with appreciation but I wanted to take that into the psychedelic space as well and another one of my intentions has been health because I've been sick I've been sick for a couple of months now almost half a year and it's been a reoccurring theme in my life it's been it's been very present over and over again and I wanted to inquire into that ask into that with the medicine and see if there's if there's anything that comes up regarding this so those were kind of my core intentions and otherwise whatever came up I was open and I was willing to receive. So first night it was very interesting. 
It was very interesting. I, it was a very transformative night. It was absolutely, absolutely mind blowing what was going on right there, right? Ayahuasca is such an incredibly intelligent medicine. It's so, uh, it's, it's a special one. <laughs> it's, I, but I, I feel like I say that for every single psychedelic, <laughs> but it's, it's, a, it's a very special one. It's, it's dear to my heart and it feels, yeah, it, it, as I said, it has been taking me to the highest highs and to the lowest lows. Um, sometimes a very rough teacher and also this night it was not easy. The easy. The ayahuasca was a special brew from Brazil with the tiger vine, a very thick vine and vine heavy brew um, apparently. And I drank one cup and then I waited and it took quite a while to come on. And I didn't know, like it was, I felt bodily vibrations, but nothing was really happening. After an hour or two, I drank a little bit more, like half a cup more. So it was one and a half cups of this brew. It, it was actually tasting quite well as well, um, interestingly enough. And I was just waiting and then when I drank the second cup, it fully arrived. It arrived, I was like, okay, this is... It's arriving, opening, opening, opening. And at first it was very much in my body. I felt it curse through my body and I felt it curse through my, my teeth area and my mouth, everything was vibrating and my, my teeth were kind of hurting. <laughs> Never had that experience before, super weird. Um, and and it, it, it really, spoke to my body kind of it it was like arriving in my body and it's like saying hello i'm here and i was like welcome <laughs> welcome in uh, it's, it's just good always to be open surrender receive trust right welcome it in welcome it in and we went through all of my intentions like so fast I was like, boom, <laughs> it arrived. And, and then when it came on, it, it took a little bit, but then we went straight into all my questions that I had and they were answered one by one, like so quickly. And, and it happened a couple of times with, with the ayahuasca that it just answers all of these questions at times, not in every ceremony, but at times it's so graceful and it's so loving that it just answers every sing single thing with perfect clarity and that was the case for this one as well as like amazing thank you like there were so many insights regarding all of my questions uh regarding the work regarding my path this feeling this alignment that i'm on track feeling seeing the vision that i have for myself and for for this life and where i am to serve and how i am to serve and what my highest joy is, where is my highest excitement, where do I feel at home, what resonates. And it felt very beautiful to experience that in that space, also with the music, with the, with the singing to the ayahuasca. And it was just very, very resonant for me. And, and yeah, amazing how it just answered every single question. And then, then, the work began because then the, the night was just, it was very young, right? <laughs> and then the work began uh, because I was like, I have nothing more. I have nothing more. What, what now? And then it was like, okay, let's, let's begin the work. And it was deep work. It was, it was definitely, definitely deep work. I'm not going to share all the insights about the, this personal stuff about the life purpose and the course and the coaching that I'm going to uh, create and offer. You will you'll see that if you're if you're going to follow this channel. Uh, it's definitely inspired by Ayahuasca and um, I'm very excited to to share things that are all the things that are coming coming for me and coming for us as a community on this channel. And yeah, I'm gonna skip this and skip this. So, so much clarity, so much alignment. When it came to my intention of appreciation, that was really where the topic of this whole session dialed in. Because it feels like silent, loving appreciation is love. Silent, loving appreciation 
and endless gratitude, infinite gratitude. That was what the rest of the experience was about. Basically about love, right? It's about love and it's ayahuasca is it. Oftentimes for me, it's a teacher of love, sometimes a very rough teacher, but it's a it's a teaching of love. And love is not always like this fluffy, easy, light thing that many of us have this image in mind, right? But it's it goes deeper and it went deeper for myself as well in, in, in this ceremony. So but first it was kind of honing in on this appreciation, that appreciation feels like it's my path. Appreciation is a very interesting one because for me it aligns um, the highest highs of the psychedelic space with the ordinary monkey mind of our day-to-day -day experience. Because that is also, there's no difference, right, between Buddha mind and ordinary mind. It's, it's one thing. And developing an appreciation for things as they are kind of makes everything beautiful so so it 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 doesn't it, it took for me it took away this desire to chase for the highs for the highest highs always and always and that that being the only thing i i desire being this merging with god or this awakened state but no appreciation of the ordinary i've talked about this on this channel for quite a while now but i really want to deepen that now because it's it, it aligns both of these worlds perfectly and also in the psychedelic space even in intense experiences as in this one the task for me is to appreciate that to appreciate all appearances while not being attached to them. The non-attachment is a really interesting one as well, which kind of flowed into this ceremony and this experience, because at times it, it gets really intense, right? The, the psychedelic space. And I read the, the Zen teachings of Bodhidharma and they, they really resonated and kind of get to the, to the, core and to the root of, of of zen and it's like it's it's such a nice work i can really recommend that book and what he said in a part was to not be attached to any appearances right that means appearances in ordinary state of consciousness but also in intense meditative states or in psychedelic states not be attached to them and also when we see spirits, when we see demons, or when we have any kind of experience to meet it with neither respect nor fear. That's an interesting one that I took into this, into this ayahuasca journey, because in psychedelic space, oftentimes I have the tendency to meet it with respect, because it humbled me so, so many times, right? I have infinite respect for, for that. But also kind of to center myself and keep this trust in the background awareness to be able to not fear any appearance, no matter how intense and scary it might be, but also not have too much respect for, for the divine teachings, for the plant spirit, for, for, for the, the, yeah, for the spirits. And it's a very fine balance because I do feel this respect and sometimes I am afraid. But when we are in this background awareness, there's like neither respect nor fear, non-attachment to any appearance, but pure appreciation of all experience and of all existence and of all of life and of all that is appearing in this field of awareness and perception. Interesting side note, with this mindset, I kind of entered into, into this journey as well. So appreciating, appreciate and love all appearances, right? As I said, and do not hold on to any appearance, not even holding on to, to this blissful loving experience. Um, because that holding on and that attachment leads to suffering, right? Um, so the rest of the ceremony was just about that. It was about how much can you love? How much can I love? 
how much can I love all appearances? How much can I appreciate all appearances? And I got to fully appreciate a lot of things. That's where this intention of, of the health and thickness is, was also coming in. I've been reading Meister Eckhart, right, and sharing on this channel as well about this topic of sickness and trying to embrace it as part of God's will while still finding the balance to, of course, trying to, to, to not get rid of it, but resolve the sickness, right? But this ceremony again showed me that this, this embrace of all of life, this love of all of life was very, was very touching. And it, it showed me what it truly means to love my sickness, to love all sickness, not just that, to love all poverty, to love all pain, to love, to love all that is included in, in the human experience, because it's, it's part of that. And if it's, if it's appearing, it's meant to appear. It's meant to be there. And the best service that we can do to life is to appreciate that. To appreciate the experiences. To love them. Not to resist them. Not to judge them. But to, to truly embrace them and love them as part of life. So that was... That was significant for me to, to really deepen that. Because it's, of course, it's unpleasant. Of course, it's uncomfortable. Even in the ceremony itself, right? There's, there's nausea at times. There's sickness at times. My, my nose is running in, in ayahuasca ceremonies, um, especially in this one as well. And I felt this physical sickness even in, in the in the space because it's still kind of there. There was no insight in in what it is or why it is, but it's just the lesson to appreciate it, to love it fully. Whew. Right, loving, loving life, loving the challenge as well, loving the challenge of, of the ceremony, of, of life, loving the challenge of life. And it's so beautiful. To, to develop this love, loving, loving all the highs and the lows that we experience in our human experience. Um, and, and this experience of love kind of evoked such a deep gratitude in me, right? Also singing to the divine, singing to Aya uh, during the ceremony invoked this deep gratitude because it, it showered me with love and it kept on giving and giving and giving more and more and more love that it, I almost couldn't take take it on anymore. It was just, it's too much love. It's too much love. Uh, how much love can you take? How much love can you handle? And as it was showering me with love, it evoked this deep gratitude, this infinite gratitude, right? This appreciation for that. Um, for giving more and more love. And then, and then in my mind, it was like, I, I could, almost couldn't think because my mind was so far out of my mind, kind of. It was standing so far out of itself. It was, it was hard to kind of grasp a thought. There was just like some words of like opening, opening, receiving, receiving, appreciation, appreciation. And, and this gratitude was, was developing to as the only service to the medicine kind of I was like what can I do to give back to you thank you for this experience right thank you for answering all my questions for showering me with so much love what can I do to serve you and and what came is again appreciation being grateful when I, when I was like focusing and honing in on that gratitude right singing to the mother singing to to ayahuasca praising it worshipping it, maybe worship is the wrong word, but yeah, really singing to it in, in, in prayer. Uh, that was when, when it was aligned, when it, it kind of responded to that, to the singing. It responded to the gratitude with even more love. 
So the only thing, it was kind of the circle, it gave more love and I was like, I appreciate that, I love that. Thank you, thank you, truly thank you. And it, it really touched, touched my heart. And, and it was an ever deepening opening and surrender and, and realization into all that is, into all that is, into all this love. And at times it got challenging. I got nauseous. I hucked my bucket. I didn't perch, but I hucked my bucket. Uh, I got dizzy. And, and sometimes it's like it, it intensified so much more and more and more and more that there is a tendency to spiral into fear, right? But I got the idea kind of during ceremony to see it as a play, to see it as a dance. And, and in my mind, I was like, okay, I love the challenge, right? So let's play, let's play, let's dance together. You and me, the medicine and me, not just me um, kind of giving up, giving in, but, but let's, let's play. You present something and I can appreciate that. I, I, I'll take on the challenge. Whatever you're gonna present, I'll try to appreciate that in loving, silent appreciation and love. I will love that. And then it, 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 it threw stuff at me. It's like, can you love the nausea? <laughs> and I was like, yes, I can love the nausea. And it was like this fun play throughout the rest of the night. Um, and I, I almost got defeated. I'll have to say, I almost got defeated by the end. I felt exhausted because it was so much, so much of that, of that love that, that I was like, I can't anymore. Like, I'm, I'm done. And then it kept on, it kept on giving, it kept on giving. Um, and yeah, yeah, the singing was beautiful because it really showed like this cura cura quepisito limpia limpia spiritito. It's truly, it felt truly like it's healing the body. It felt truly like it's cleansing the soul. It's cleansing the mind by by love, by love. All the impurities get kind of purified and burn in this fire of love. And that's that's beautiful. All tension, all resistance, everything gets purified by this ever deepening, uh, ever deepen, deepening opening. And yeah, beautiful. So gratitude, gratitude came up a lot for all the people in my life, for everything, all that, all that shebang of being grateful for, for our humanness, for our parents, ancestors, kids whatever, I don't have kids, but <laughs> but all of this came up for all the people in the room, appreciating all of that. And that was it. That was basically it. And I was almost defeated by, by the end of, of the night for, for that love, almost defeated by love. But I got through and I kept on breathing. I kept on going through that and then at the end, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm ready for it to end. <laughs> I was like, this, this, is, uh, this is intense. Like, this, is, this is absolutely insane how much, how much it keeps on giving and it keeps on giving and it keeps on giving. Um, I'm repeating myself, but I, yeah, I, I kept on appreciating. One last thing that came up for me also, I, got, I cried a lot. I, sh I, I shaked a lot, even though we were asked to remain in our center but sometimes I had to just shake it off and and kind of yeah and sing as well and and feel the vibration um one last thing that came up for me also it made me very sensitive very open right very connected to everything that's inside me and when Manish was singing starting to sing a Kali mantra Chamunda Ye Kali Man I, it, yeah, it triggered and it brought up something that was kind of a hidden emotional thing regarding my, my ex-girlfriend, um, cause she, she is a devotee to the mother and to Kali and our relationship ended because of her going that path. And, uh, I thought I was, I was like, okay with that. And, and I didn't, 
And I felt very happy about this. And I didn't cry about the, the loss of the relationship. And in this moment, a lot of emotions came up regarding feeling, feeling the grief, right? Feeling the grief and the loss of the relationship. I didn't allow myself to feel that fully. And it's so beautiful to feel that grief and that loss. I didn't even know it was there, right? I told myself it's not. And and to appreciate the, the grief and the loss of of the relationship. It's so it was was very much beautiful. And I, I <laughs> it spiraled into a very intense one and, and I was like, no, I could see the potential to go into this infinite circle of uh, grief and lo loss. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, I, I can now appreciate and see the point to be careful um, after breakup to go into very intense psychedelic space because you can spiral into very interesting territory. But, but I cried for a bit uh, regarding that topic and... Um, came back to my center, kind of caught myself and got back to the center and, and also singing to the mother and singing to Kali and appreciating also that as part of life, right? Appreciating that as part of life and of part of the human experience. So, so and then, whew, right, the lesson again to <sighs> take a deep breath and center, center, center. And, and f still feel that, but not fully <laughs> lose it all, <laughs> right? But but it was beautiful to feel that grief as well and, and to appreciate the situation and to appreciate all of the emotions that are stored up in, in the body and to release them as well. So overall, such an incredible experience such an incredible night with infinite love and infinite appreciation and a lot of clarity about the vision and and about the path um and even then after the ceremony i was like afraid to go into the next night which i'll come to in the next video so if you enjoyed that subscribe to the channel follow along for more also for what's to come about the life purpose program for psychonauts it's going to be an incredible one. And yeah, all the love, all the appreciation for you as well. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, for sharing your awareness and presence with me in this space through this video, through, through our connection. I would appreciate you commenting about whatever you feel like sharing. I love reading your comments and... Yeah, I'm excited to, to what's to come and to share more about that. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to download the Ayahuasca Preparation Workbook and I'll see you in the next one. Much love, much appreciation.